Good evening, Divine Masculines. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm a bit late with this uh, Divine Masculine reading. There was so much going on, uh, a whole move, all my stuff from the temple needed to come over to, uh, to the UK. And so my whole house is packed with uh, boxes and bags and stuff that needed to go on. And then we also had a fairy ball here. So we had to celebrate and shift some energies. And um, yeah, and then the normal thing is going on, uh, the normal life here. So it was a pretty busy um yeah four days let, let i say because i did uh, i took a week totally week off because the energies really uh, drove me to do absolutely nothing i was so exhausted that um that i need to you know re recap and everybody would would probably feel it that you know the energy were shifting so much that you only had a feeling that you needed to sleep and you couldn't move. And uh, even if you do your sports and, uh, you know, and, and your normal work, it was like, OK, you really feel the shift from uh, autumn going to winter time. And uh, even if it's not winter time yet, you really feel the energy shift that says, OK, you need to uh come 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 back to and adjust and adjust your body adjust your feelings into another uh frequency so my body sh uh, is shifting to winter mode um i don't know about you guys so let me know how your shift is going um let's start with some some new cards i have here two new, two new decks and let's see what's going on in the mind space of the, the masculine energy wow that's a lot it's really a lot four cards dropped out so this is a message it's the page of wands the king of pentacles the six of wands and the Six of Cups. Wow. Uh, it could be that he is um, is wanting to move, uh, move forward, take a step forward. But he's more in this childish energy that says, you know, oh, just drop something in and see how the reaction is of the Divine Feminine. Um, how she will react instead of stepping in the King energy that is confident that is knowing what you want and uh saying okay this is um is what i i i want this is a compatible energy uh i'm stepping forward and i'm going to do uh something about it uh there is also an aspect of uh security um uh I hear financial security. If I take a step with her, you know, I have a, um, I know I'm, I'm, um, we are financial secure and I can get into that, that space with her and being a uh, solid of, you know, having everything I want. Uh, I have the passion, uh, with her. I have the love with her. I have the connection with her, you know, I see all elements are here. So he, he knows that if he is uh, making this leap of faith, that he has everything with her and that he can, um, when he is with her, uh, he also knows that he will be her king. And, um, and that's very important to him. You know, that he is not seen as as this page anymore, as the child, but that he is being seen as this king that can provide for himself, but also for her. And, um, and I see the because of the passion, they will come together. 
and the six of cups is saying you know the love is here the love is 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 mutual on both sides so i have here uh, the page you know he's dr just dropping something in to see if she's still interested knows that he can have everything with her uh, you know the the king of pentacles that the there's material wealth um that there is the passion and uh and love that comes together and merging together and then there is this beautiful love of the masculine and the feminine coming together with all elements so everything is uh is uh available in this union that's in his mind space you know i can have i can have it all with her so if you um and that's where it's all about you know uh the whole twin flame uh, journey is about the unconditional love um and the unconditional love is um that you love someone but unconditionally uh, unconditionally uh, no matter what the outcome is if you're coming together or not that um, there are no expectations and that there will be union or not but that's that's about the unconditional love that you can love love someone let them go and know that you will be okay and that's also the self-love that's the twin flame journey uh, that 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 the most people are are on on this this timeline so um let go of all the expectations um you know you can do your wor uh, work you can go your own way your masculine can go his own way um you know and and meet each other in the middle no matter what uh, uh, a third party or another situation or uh, friends or family or whatever uh, in the spirit world you never can be separated because uh, there is always a connection here there's always a connection so you know you you go and you meet and you go and you meet and if your divine masculine is still triggering you um if in conscious or unconsciously then you know that there is still work to do because that's the that's the way uh, the twin flame journey needs to be uh, without uh, resentment without um um anger sometimes uh, when you're in a in an in an environment with someone and you get fired up about something it could be that you feeling the energy of your your divine counterpart uh you know that is firing you up because there could be resentment or there could be anger uh in uh in a sub conscious level so you pick that up as a as a as an empath or as a very sensitive person you can pick that up and um and then it could be your reaction on that you're afraid of it or uh, you know you're 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 reacting on it because of of the energy you feel um You can always go within yourself and reflect within yourself. What is it doing with you? Uh, is there still resentment within you that uh, that you you clash together? Okay, so it could be that there is fear. You know that you're is like separating. You know it could be that there is a lot of chemistry and a lot of love that. Uh, attracts you both both together you know uh could be that there is uh all kinds of things that are are coming to the surface 
and it won't be always bad, you know, it can also be very good because the other person needs to go in another vibration uh, and they helping each other uh, in an unconscious way to get to that to that level so if you find out that your um, you know your counterparties are in a lower vibration there's always a way to lift them up in a higher vibration and um, divine feminine and divine masculine know exactly how to do that okay they are really conscious of that energy so what's going on in the divine masculine's heart space so it was a beautiful message where the divine masculine is thinking of it's it's um the six of cups is all also uh, an old love or uh, rekindled love uh, youth love but it always has to do with two, uh, two people coming together. Okay. Let's get one card for the heart space of the Divine Masculine. I'm shuffling a little bit easier now because the cards are flying all out. All directions. So maybe it's a little bit, yeah, easier in the heart space for the divine uh, masculine. What's in the divine masculine's heart space? There is sadness and isolation. This full moon in Aries was very intense. And a lot of things will come up. It can come up uh, things of uh, separation um things that being said things that being done and the energy is turning so it could be that they feel sad without the divine feminine and they isolating themselves and uh, that's the time to uh, work on yourself and to you know to rise again so it's out of the darkness and now with this especially with this time we're going within transmuting all the energies and then come out and rise again and that's exactly what happened to the divine masculine in his heart space you know they turn inside they're going through some stuff they're going to work it out and when they're out and they finding finding that that level that they say okay you know enough is enough and they rise and they go up to the sunlight and they show themselves in full glory and they shine their light and they're in they know how to transform this energy they know how to get out of this place and get in that space um within a heartbeat and and that's really really amazing uh how the divine masculine is mastering his emotions mastering the transformation of his emotions from his heart space so he's isolating himself and when he is done with the isolating and the sadness uh that could be you know uh that you love someone very dearly but there is no pro uh, progression so you have to let someone go and then you feel that sadness and then rise up again and and start to work on your own and and doing your own thing okay i have to hold it more here so you can all see the card so uplifting and going to that energy of light and love and show yourself in full strength okay uh, oh that's beautiful it drops out what is the higher self saying um, towards himself 
you need to blossom you need to feel the fire you need to feel the life you need to feel it all and uh, you're still alive there is still all these emotions within you you know and it also means blossom is it's like not only work you know it's work and play it's work and create and it's not just only uh, the work 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 when you only work and you only sleep you know you're going into a deep sleep because there is no play there is no vadi voom it's it's not there and they ask the higher self says you know you need that fire you need that passion come out and and let your body feel that you're still alive that you feeling that you're alive that you're living that you're a part of of a bigger bigger picture you know if you're with someone or without someone it doesn't matter you need to feel that feeling alive you know and you have to activate this within yourself you know and if you don't know how to activate that that lively uh, passionate feeling within yourself um you know um i can guide you there i can guide you through um different with different tools um to to get out of the sadness and and start blossoming again you know uh, i i there is a there's a lot of masculine energy that that feels stuck at the moment and um you know don't don't be ashamed uh to um to ask for help because everybody sometimes needs some help you know i know i i i do now and then and then i'm you know i need sometimes i i don't see things clearly because i'm so enthusiastic you know and i see it all and i see the outcome and then i'm going to someone and says you know you forget the steps in the middle and it's not looking really good and you know you just have to listen what what's what's be said and now when i i look at it I'm like, yeah, it was a good choice. I, I it's good I listened. Uh, otherwise, um, my next project that's even bigger wouldn't come on come my come on my path, you know. Because there's always there's always better, you know. There's always uh, if you sometimes if you decline something or you let something go. Um, you know that that you always get rewarded afterwards you never get rewarded uh, for beforehand because you won't see what's coming and uh, and sometimes i can see it for other people but it's it's very hard to see it for myself so then i i'm going for advice and uh, and I, I know I'm, I'm going to the best because they give me the good advice because it's coming from um, a clear heart and not from uh, an ego space. So that's, that's where you're looking for, you know, you're looking for that, that kind of advice that brings you balance. And that's where, what's it all about? Because uh, your higher self is telling about uh, the Divine Feminine, you know, um, the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles and bringing everything in balance. And shining your light and the cups of, the, the Ace of Cups. So it means there's a lot of love, you know, and um, there there is all, they have it all together, you know. Uh, that's how he sees it, that she is shining of love, that her her light is sparkling, that she has so much love for everyone in her surroundings and she gives a lot, but she also receives a lot. And, and that's in balance, 
you know, and that's what he sees about the divine feminine. That's what his higher self say, you know. Um, yeah, she has a stable life. She has a lot to give and um, she brings it in balance. There is, is an equal give and take uh, with her. And um, he also knows that she, uh, let me show you the cards. He also know that she can take care of herself, you know, and and uh, and that's what he he really that the higher selves of the masculine is saying to him, you know, this is uh, something in in a lifetime, you know, this is um, the love that is overflowing. She fills up her own cup. And uh, she know how to manifest um, her income. And yeah, the give and take of, of, of possessions, material, love, uh, passion, everything is there and it's all in balance. So he knows that she is in balance and that she is uh, also, you know, able to to uh, be grateful for every little thing that's happening in her life so that's that's really good okay how does the divine masculine sees the relationship how does the divine masculine Sees the relationship with the Divine Feminine. One card, please. Okay, I said one. I will take the top one. Okay, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support for the divine masculine, you know, and how he, how does he see the relationship with her? Oh my goodness. For the divine masculine, first, ask what you need. What do you really need from your divine feminine? Most masculines don't even think about what they need, what is necessary in their life to be complete with the divine feminine. They don't ask, you know, if you, st if you ask the question to the divine masculine, what do you need in your life? They don't know because they never thought about it, but it's really a thing uh, to think about for what you need in your life. What, what is missing in your life and what will be, uh, and, and that missing part, is that what you can give yourself or do you need it from someone else? So if you are willing to accept the support uh, of the divine feminine, instead of wanting to do it all by yourself or um, you need to do it by yourself but you need to have support what your needs are within a relationship from the outside of someone you know you need to really ask yourself uh, you know what do i need in my life what is, what makes me secure, what gives me safety, what um, gives me stability, what is giving me a peace of mind. And uh, if you don't know where you're heading, you know, you're going all directions. If you don't know what you need, maybe, you know, um, maybe you deserve more then you, um, 
oh, what do you say? You deserve, you deserve more than you um, already accepted. You know, could be that you're settling. It could be that you're settling for something. It could be that you're settling for a room instead of your own house. It could be that you're settling for this amount of money in a month and you can get more or, or you know, it's, it's about settling, about, um, oh, this is, this is okay for me. It could be that you're having a, a mindset that your divine feminine needs more, you know, but it's not about the divine feminine. Maybe the divine feminine within yourself, and then you have to re, re uh, search for that, where the balance is between the feminine and the masculine energy. And uh, but what do you need? You know, maybe you, you're too serious. Maybe you're working too hard, and um, maybe you're saying, "Oh, you know, uh, I'm very content in this space." Uh, where I'm at at the moment, but it's really crapping you in, you know, it's really, um, it could be that it's the mindset of that's, that's all I can afford. That's all I can afford for myself, uh, or it's, uh, nice and it, it's cheap. And it's um, um, it's comfortable. I don't have to do anything. Um, you know, may, maybe you think like that. Maybe you're thinking, okay, uh, it's not about my housing, but it's about my work. You know, I'm very comfortable in this work, and. Uh, I don't, I don't know what I, I, I really want. Uh, do I need another job? Do I need another um, uh, thing to work myself up? Or do I need to study more? Or, you know, go and, and, and find what you need within yourself, what your needs are. That, and, and I found out uh, with, with many consultations of, 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 of the masculine, the masculines don't know what they need. Uh, sometimes they just need a mother. You know, they need the mother energy from, from a woman. Or um, they need um, the attention and the sexual uh, attention of, 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 of the feminine that gives them uh, an ego boost and that gives them a good feeling about themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's really nothing wrong with that, as long as you know what your needs are. And um, that's what the higher self saying, you know. Um, um, towards this whole relationship with the Divine Feminine, if you're in a relationship uh, with your Divine Feminine, uh, is ask for that help. Ask the Divine Feminine what her needs are um, if you're in a disagreement with each other. You know, there, I, I, I see most of the separations that's happening at the moment. And it's a lot. It's really a lot. That's about the lack of communication, of speaking from the heart to heart communication. Um, and then they, they say, okay, let's separate and go our own way. And when you're going your own way, then all the fears are coming up. And, and uh, know that there, there will be a time, you know, that when you're, when you're uh, in that separation, that um, you're more easily to be controlled by the outside world. So um, instead of being afraid of being controlled by your divine feminine, 
uh, or you taking the control over your divine feminine. Um, you know, it's, it's about letting go of all the control, letting go of the fears, letting go of, you know, the outside world that wants to control you. So it's then the, the journey and the healing journey starts. And uh, in that healing journey, you're going to find yourself again. It will take a while, but you, you definitely will find yourself again. And then, um, then you know, and then you feel, okay, I don't want this anymore. I don't want that anymore. Write it down because that's the energy, what you don't want, but the energy, what you do want in your life, attracting you the right things coming your way. Okay. So that's how, how he sees the relationship with the divine feminine. So ask and, and even ask your divine feminine for help, you know, um, who, who knows it better than the divine feminine doesn't mean that the divine feminine knows everything better because it's not, I know a lot of men with a lot of knowledge, uh, that, that supports the divine feminine. Um, uh, but as, as the divine feminine can get support with the divine, uh, masculine, the masculine can find support with the divine feminine and, um, and sometimes it's it's good to have support uh, from the masculine, but it's also good to have the and to ask the support of the feminine, because uh, you can have the support of bodies, of your bodies, you can have the support of the fine feminine. But most of the time, the, 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 the energy of the Divine Masculine, um, it's a logical one. And they just say, no, don't do it. No, you know, don't take any risks. Take it easy. You know, let go. You know, because they're... Ask from a professional. If you want help, go to a professional. Don't listen to all kinds of information. Just go to one person that you feel, okay, I'm resonating with that person, you know. Um, and sometimes beautiful connections come out of that. Um, when, when you're just feeling and tuning in and saying, okay, I need to be there and, and go there and you, you get them amazing, amazing uh, readings or amazing support from someone because your heart feels that you're on the right, with the right person, okay? What's the uncomfortability with the divine masculine at the moment? To manifest, maybe to manifest love. Maybe he feels uncomfortable how to manifest it. He wants to manifest it, but he doesn't know how to manifest it. So, and how to work it out. Because then, then the mind comes in and, oh, how shall I do it? What shall I do it? Let it go. You know, just send it out into the universe. And the universe knows when you will be coming together, if you will come together, if you're, you're compatible together, the universe knows and your heart knows. So um, don't think about uh, all the steps ahead or the outcome, you know, do it step by step. And that's that's what I, uh, I feel about this. It's... Um, uncomfortability is the manifestation that you want in your life um, is is sometimes ups and downs 
and it also has to do with um, justification um, frequencies and um, energy you know are you on a higher frequency or are you on a lower frequency um, it's easy um, if, if your mind get distracted you know in, a, in another space it's easier to manifest because your your mind is not occupied with uh, sadness or isolation but if you go into another space and you, you create another energy, um, could be um, um, if you're in a space that you don't feel happy, that you don't feel comfortable, that you don't feel uh, in alignment with, that drags you down, then it's forget the manifestation, you know? then you need to make sure you get out of this place up here and then the manifestation comes in. So you need to transform. You need to transform to um, if you want to manifest, you know, and if you want to manifest uh, this relationship with your divine feminine, um, you uh, then you okay then you need to thank you um, then you have to look what your divine feminine is doing if she's doing well and you see her energy and you see her energy sparkling you know then you already know what you need to do You just have to look at her, how she's doing it. Or looking at uh, someone who can give you support. You know, it's the, it's, it's the, it's the uncomfortability of the divine masculine uh, to support or how to manifest this, this love energy um, or ma manifest this relation into union. Okay, so let's see what's going up first. Uh, how does he need, how does he wants to solve this? How is he going to solve this? How is he going to solve this? Nurture. He needs to nurture himself, okay? And saying no to people. Even, even friends, even friends. He needs to take time on his own. He needs to go in nature on his own. He needs to have walks what nurture him into nature. He, don't close yourself up on a room, you know? Go go out in the night. Go and look to the stars and, and search for the moon and and walk in, you know. Sometimes we we can't sleep at night. That's that's a sign that we need to do the work at night, that we have to go outside, you know, when when the full moon is out and you can't sleep, go outside, go to the moon, say your prayers. And, and say your gratitude to the moon and thank her for being there. Go back to bed and you will sleep because it's just the call from the moon to get out of your bed, to look at her, to see her and to give her gratitude for all what she's doing for you and your emotions to transform into the best version you are. Okay, and when you're doing it, you're nurturing yourself because after that you can sleep. 
So the moon is an attraction on your body, on your emotions. So nurture yourself. Take time for yourself. Take nice walks in, in nature. Um, you know, if you sometimes when you when you can't sleep, just get in your coat and wander. Wander around. You know, sometimes that's what I do. If I can't sleep at night, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, I can do two things laying in my bed, sitting and wondering why I can't sleep or get out, get my coat on, grab a cup of tea, uh, grab a bot bottle of water and walk around, look at the stars, sitting outside, doesn't matter what. That's a piece of nurturing for myself also. And if I sleep uh, an hour later in the morning, I still nurtured myself, you know? Okay. Take a warm bath, salt baths, you know? Clear yourself. Make your head empty, meditate. Do the things that you need to do for yourself. Okay. How are they coming together? How are they coming together? How are they coming together? also feel the fine muscular needs to drink more water he's dehydrated he's toxing toxing his energy gets tox too much toxins in his body so his energy gets toxic a lot of toxicity i hear is 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 <laughs> His urine is, is almost like a sunflower yellow. And it's, it's too strong. Oh, yucky. It's like old women pee, I hear. <laughs> old men pee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't ever let me smell that again. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. The, um, okay. If you want to come together, uh, you need to express your love by actions. Um, action speaks louder than words. You know? Um... It's it's so funny because the Divine Feminine knows you so well. Even if you don't speak out what, you, um, um, what you're thinking, the Divine Feminine already picked it up. If you say, um, I don't know, the Divine Feminine knows already what you're going to do. Um, you know, it's it's like... You rather can say, okay, I'm going to do this and this and this. And um, because that's, that's more convenient for me than uh, just saying, I, I, I don't know, you know, just make clear that you're very clear with your, with your words and with your actions. Because the Divine Feminine don't believe your words anymore. She's looking at the actions. And if she say, and, and she's seeing, okay, you know, this is one, twice, three, four, five times. 
the same results, the same things, the same actions. That means red flag, get out. So if you need and you want um, the love of your the divine feminine, you need to take action. No words. Um, put your put your actions where your mouth are uh, mouth is, or the the other way around. You know. It, because she is already she is already above it. She's already seeing it in the universe. What your actions, uh, what 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 your actions are going to be. So, if you want to give her mixed signals, she's already picking that up. If you uh, if you're really feeling divine love for her, she's already picking that up. If you are scared to tell her so, she's already picking that up. And that's vice versa, you know, also with the Divine Masculine. You know, the Divine Masculine already sees, uh, okay, Divine Feminine, where are you with your words? Where are you with your actions? And he's seeing that she's taking actions. Okay, she's saying, okay, I, it was a little bit up and down, up and down. I need to balance that out. And I'm transforming that energy. And she's right on. She is, she's putting her, um, her actions into deeds. Or her words into deeds. And so... You know, this is for both of them. And that will bring them together. You know, that will bring them together if they both do the work. If they both um, don't get distracted by what other... And that's the second time they tell me, don't get distracted by other people. Because other people will get you off your path. Other people... Um, um, and and that's 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 the most what what I found out on my journey. Uh, everybody has an intention for for themselves, and they want the best intention from the self out of someone else. So they're manipulating people into do what they want. And it happened to me too many times. Get out. If I feel that somebody is manipulating me, you're gone. You're out of my life. I'm, I'm not waiting for people to man, man, manipulate me. How kind you are, how soft-hearted you are, if there's a manipulation behind it, don't come to my door. Just take, just walk, turn around and walk the other way. Because I have no time for people like that that's playing games. Okay? So, um, and that's, that's probably what the divine masculine needs to learn. You know, maybe he's too soft-hearted and still let him play the game. Or the Divine Feminine play the game with the Divine Masculine. Don't let yourself be played. Don't let yourself be played by anyone. Because you feel it when you get played. You feel when it's genuine or not. You know, if you want to go to the swimming pool, you know, and someone else said, no, I don't really like to go. I don't like the wa water makes you wet. I don't like swimming. You know, you say, sorry, but I'm going swimming, even if it needs that you need to go by yourself. 
because most of the time the energies you're with will interact with your energies and sometimes when uh, when you're too much with one person that influence your energy so you say okay if, if someone else is tired, you feel there and you're an empath, you feel how tired they are and you getting tired. So you're not able to move. So that means that you need to remove yourself from those people because you need to be energized. You need to take time for yourself and to see if it's from you or is it from someone else's energy. And then you, you just need to remove yourself, okay? So, sometimes you're getting just tired of someone else because you feel the energy. I had it uh, when I was in the Netherlands. I had it um, um, with, my, with my, my, my lovely, lovely, hardworking daughter, you know? When I was sitting with her in the car, I became so tired, so tired. And she is a, a midwife. And uh, I felt the energy that she's driving at night to, to uh, a birth and coming back very tired. And I picked up on that energy and I was like sleeping in the car. When I was on the destination, it, the, the, the energy was gone. When I got back in the car with her, the energy came back and I was sleeping in the car. So that's how sensitive you could be, can be for uh, energies. I couldn't, couldn't keep my eyes open. So when, you, when you're uh, discovering this, you know, and you're going to another environment and you're living up, you know, and, and you get getting more energy of other people, you know, just or 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 the another environment, then then go there, because you you need to shelter and need to uh, harness your own energy. Well, guys, I'm going to stop. This is a very 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 long reading. Um, if you if you need more information, if you want to support. You know, you know to find me in the description box below. There's the um, uh, email address. I'm open next week for uh, readings. And uh, if you need support and guidance, I'm happy to, to help you on your way. If you're masculine or if you're feminine. If you're a feminine that is watching for your divine masculine, you know, uh, I can help you with that. Um, if you're a Divine Masculine and needing help with your Divine Feminine on your journey, uh, I'm here. So um, give a shout out and um, I love you all and all the blessings for this week. Bye bye.